Gold medal, but as undefeated as a light heavyweight, is in action this afternoon at Kayamisha Lake, New York, against Murray Sutherland, who is ranked 10th by both the WBA and the WBC, all of his victories coming by knockout. So we will have a light heavyweight bout with Michael Spinks against Murray Sutherland, scheduled for 10 rounds this afternoon. Knockouts, those records according to Ring Magazine. The referee today will be Tony Perez, and he is in there with the instructions for the fighters now. Not save anybody from being knocked out, not for the seconds. If a man is in the floor and the bell ring, please don't come out. I call for disqualification. I hate to do that. So he must get up by himself and then you might help him. Any questions? Shake hands. Good luck to the both of you. Scoring here in New York by the referee and two judges. The judges are Eva Shane and Harold Letterman. Fight sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission. Scoring on the round system with a supplemental point system. They're wearing eight ounce gloves. This is an 18 foot ring. The mandatory eight count is in effect. Counting for the knockdowns continues after the bell, except the final round, and the three knockdown rule is in effect. Two recently added rules to the New York boxing rules. The boxer must make, to the, make it to the corner under his own power if he goes down at the end of each round, and also they must come to the center of the ring at the beginning of each round. And Sutherland with a left hook sending Michael Spinks back into the ropes. Sutherland on the attack. He is in the tartan shorts, as you might expect. The spot and that right hand landed to the face of Michael Spinks. Sutherland said he'd come right out, Gil, and he wasn't kidding. Well, that's right. But when you walk into Michael Spinks, it's like walking into a threshing machine. Step back. No point. Step back, clean. Michael Spinks' his last fight here on the Sports Spectacular, February 24th, an eighth round TKO of Ramon Ronquillo. Murray Sutherland, his last fight April 13th. Huntington, West Virginia, knocked out Ed Smith in four. His only name opponent has been Richie Cates. He lost the decision to Cates a couple of years ago. Sutherland's all business. He's winging. Every punch is a home run ball. Sutherland weighed in at 174 and a half. Michael Spinks at 179. Four pounds over the light heavyweight limit. Spinks coming off that hand injury he suffered in the Ron Keel fight. He actually won that fight with one hand as left. Still managed to stop Ron Keel. Sutherland looks like a well-conditioned young man. He is managed by Art Dorr, trained by Dean Oswald. George Benton handling Michael Spinks. Nelson Brisson also in his corner. Hands up. Less than a minute to go round one. Murray Sutherland banging away on the ropes, but Spinks countering effectively. Two good counters by Mike Spinks. Good short punches. Big opportunity for Murray Sutherland. He's ranked number 10, as we said, by both the WBA and WBC. As you well know by now, fight fans, the ratings are sometimes mysterious, but uh, certainly a victory here today would give him legitimate consideration among the very best light heavyweights. This is a big opportunity for him. Less than 30 seconds, round one. Thus far, Sutherland's been a pleasant surprise. Tim, he looks like he can fight. Yes, he does. He's certainly been coming forward right since the opening bell. We're in the final seconds of round one. Round number two scheduled for 10. Murray Sutherland in the tartan trunks. Michael Spinks in the left of your screen in blue. The Olympic champion in 1976 as a middleweight. He's 11-0 as a light heavyweight in the pros. No damage done there. Sutherland got himself off balance. Sutherland looks extremely confident, and we're ahead of the game compared to yesterday's fight. That's for sure. We're into the second round here. Thomas Hearns with a first-round KO of Eddie Gazzo yesterday. Leon Spinks stopping Kevin Isaacs in the eighth round. Out in Redwood City, California, and more boxing action here on the CBS Sports Spectacular today. Right-hand lead by Sutherland just grazed the chin of 
Spinks has picked it up at the last second, pulled back. Right now, Mike doesn't look too sharp. He, he hasn't been countering effectively. He's been backing up in a straight line, making a few yeah. mistakes in there. He's too good a boxer to be boxing this kind of a match. Murray Sutherland had about 50 fights as an amateur in Scotland. He's a former kickboxer. Apparently was well ranked in the world rankings as a kickboxer. He's given that up. Smiling at Spinks' miss there. He's cocky and colorful, this guy. Yes, he is. Pleasant surprise. Well conditioned. 25 years of age. Moved to Bay City, Michigan last November from Hamilton, Ontario. When, when Sutherland comes charging in, Mike doesn't look to count this. He just did it again. He, he covers Cover up. Yeah. He has to nail Sutherland on the way in. Good jab by Spinks and starting to throw a little bit more. That's a great punch of Michael Spinks, his jab. A minute to go, round two. Oh, good right hand from Spinks. And again, Sutherland saying that didn't hurt, waving him back out to the middle of the ring. He's a colorful guy, Tim. Yes, he is. Pressing the issue as he has right from the start, Murray Sutherland. Who is he? Number 10 in the world, but largely unknown. Trying to make a name here today. Under 30 seconds. Overhand right from Sutherland landed. Good left hook by Sutherland. Through a right hand, came back with the hook and it landed. Final seconds of the second round. All right. Philadelphia at Los Angeles. Game one coming next here on CBS. Watch the doctor operate in game one against Magic and the Western Conference champion Lakers. Well, there's another look at that action in the corner, in the neutral corner. Michael Spinks on the left of your screen. And Sutherland, uh, that was where... Spinks got a lick in on him, and Sutherland uh, smiled at him, said, you didn't hurt me. All right, this is round number three. Sutherland has been the aggressor through the first two, and on our cards, we've got him in front. Round system scoring here by a referee and two judges in New York, Hill. And Sutherland started that round out with two beautiful snappy jabs. He's a very confident kid. Very confident. Combination by Sutherland. Looking very sound, very poised in this early going. Third round, scheduled for 10. Spinks missed with that right. Tim, this could be the upset of the year. I rate, I, I rate Michael Spinks probably the best light heavyweight in the world, at least in the top three. And this kid's pushing him around, doing a job. Well, you heard Murray Sutherland say he'd be right there in front of him. He'd be coming in on him. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And he has been delivering the goods so far. However, it's a 10-rounder, don't forget. Just left of the body by Spinks of that last exchange. But Spinks is fighting his kind of fight. He's not, he's not snapping that jab. He's not using his ring generalship. And, and as I say, when Sutherland comes in, he just covers up. Sutherland got a good right hand to the head of Michael Spinks. Yes, he did. Bang into the body underneath. Get your man, baby, all the way. Get your man. Get your man. Right hand landed from Spinks. There's that snappy jab now. I can't believe that Mike Spinks covers up every time this fella faints or comes in there. He just did it again. He's got to nail this kid on the way in. Third round, scheduled for 10. A surprising beginning here from the unknown Murray Sutherland, who has shown so far to be a, very much an opponent for Michael Spinks. Good combination by Spinks, right hand on the right hand on the chin, hurts Sutherland a little bit. Minute to go in round three. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Come on. We're live from the Concord Hotel, Kaimisha Lake, New York. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy ringside. Leon Spinks looking in from our studio in California with Dick Stockton watching his brother work here today. 
More boxing action coming on the sports spec. Less than 30 seconds to go in round number three. See Marvin Hagler on the 17th. Jerry Cooney and Jimmy Young. Big, important heavyweight fight on the 25th of May. Spinks on the attack. Got Sutherland on the side of the year, but Sutherland tied him up pretty well. Hands up. There is Michael Spinks in his corner getting some attention from Nelson Brisson and awaiting the bell for round number four. Sutherland eager to go out the middle of the ring first. Fourth round action. It's the first time in the fight that Spinks is coming forward and Sutherland's going backwards. And let Sutherland come in again. But, whoa! Spinks really tried to land that overhand right. Sutherland ducked under it, came back with a smile. But you notice that Spinks is the aggressor now. Yes, he is. Putting some pressure on Sutherland. Sutherland's handler is considered him to be a real good athlete. We're seeing some movement from him here in the fourth round, and he's having to move because he's getting pressure from Spinks. Well, Spinks had that bad right hand, but it isn't bad now. I saw him throw that right hand underneath and back on the chin. He's done it three or four times. But again, now he's taking over, Spinks. He's pushing the fellow back. Here he's banging that right hand underneath. He's very slow, Spinks, today. Just very slow. Slow on the counter. Slipped the punch, didn't counter. Well, we talk about fighting an unknown fighter. There's always that possibility to take things for granted. Maybe he hasn't prepared as well for this as he should have. Well, whatever it is, let's give Sutherland some credit. He may be an unknown, but he's a good fighter. We've been giving him credit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we've still got him ahead in the fight. We're in the fourth round. You know, Michael is fighting with his mouth open now, which is usually a telltale sign that he's getting tired. Good point. See that mouth open, Tim? He's gasping for breath. He's got good a good left to the body good and left back on the way. Yep. Less than a minute to go, round four. Scheduled for 10, light heavyweights. Spinks at 179, Sutherland 174 and a half. There's some redness under the right eye of Murray Sutherland. Spinks banging to the body more now in this round. And there looks to be a slight abrasion under the right eye of Murray Sutherland. Sutherland has lost twice in 22 fights, once to the veteran Richie Cates. Round decision. That's no disgrace. Cates is a world-class fighter. His other loss at TKO in the fourth round by tough Dwight Davidson of Livonia, Michigan. In Livonia, Michigan. Right hand landed from Spinks. Final seconds of the fourth round. Scrappy fight between these two light heavyweights. There's Murray Sutherland, a pleasant surprise for boxing fans so far. He's done a good job here through four rounds against Michael Spinks. Spinks unbeaten in 11 pro fights, but highly regarded. You heard Gil Clancy describe him as the best light heavyweight in the world, in his opinion. Little abrasion under the right eye of Murray Sutherland, the only signs of damage on either fighter thus far. Right hand lead by Spinks, missed. Got that jab in, they both jabbed at the same time. Cut him off. WBA champion Eddie Gregory is here watching the fight at ringside with interest. He expects he'll be meeting, Lee, uh, meeting uh, Michael Spinks in a title fight sometime in the not too distant future. Murray Sutherland would like to throw a big roadblock in the way of that. First, right couple hand. Of, first couple of rounds, Sutherland's strategy worked when he was moving in on Spinks. Now he's moving away, giving, he's giving Michael time to set him up. Move him. Move him. Move him. Move him. 
in Mike's corner they're saying move your hands move your hands that's good advice Georgie Benton trainer when Sutherland's coming in he's effective now he took that backward step he shouldn't do that guy okay, has the crowd Mike speaks he's backing up again it's the worst thing he can do Sutherland breathing a little more right, heavily him, too see him throw those two punches and then back up he can't do that Spinks taking charge here in round five. Turn it off, Turn it off. Good right hand underneath. Michael fighting with more confidence and more poise now as this fight has gone on. Uh, also, Sutherland is uh, again starting to lose a little confidence, backing up. He has to keep that positive attitude in there. Boy, those heads are clashing now. That's bad. Sutherland uh, definitely in a retreat here in the fifth round. He's been circling, circling, and has not gone ahead at all. Less than 30 seconds to go. Spinks banging effectively to the body. Those body shots are really hurting Sutherland. Just do another good left hook underneath. Final seconds, fifth round. Round number six, scheduled for 10 light heavyweights. Murray Sutherland in the tartan trunks. Michael Spinks, unbeaten in 11 pro fights in the foreground. Putting the pressure on Sutherland now. Sutherland got off to a very impressive start in this fight, but Spinks has come on well the last couple of rounds. Mike is getting into high gear now, throwing those body punches. He's sinking them in there. Spinks has just kind of revved his motors up as it's gone along, and he is really taking charge. Round number six. Sutherland has to land a big punch, get a little respect out of Michael. Oh, it's going to be all downhill from him now on. Sutherland with seven consecutive knockouts, but not against real tough opposition. If you'd like to alert our stations along the line, we'll be going to a station break at the end of this sixth round. Work, 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 work. Tell him, Mike, work, work, work. That's what Sutherland has to do. He has to get some respect. Landed that combination, got the left hook into the ear of Spinks. Combination by Spinks, really putting some heat on. That left staggered Sutherland, a left hook. Crowd here responding to the attack by Michael Spinks in this sixth round. Mike's working that right hand overtime. He throws it under, he throws it over. He's got Sutherland some trouble in that neutral corner. Sutherland appears more and more tired as each second goes by. Less than a minute to go in the sixth round. Punishing body attack from Michael Spinks. Just missed a vicious left uppercut. Right hand lead landed. Sutherland continuing to show pretty good movement in there. Yes, he's good condition, Tim. Well conditioned fighter. Standing him in good stead right now against the pressure from Michael Spinks. Less than 30 seconds to go in the sixth round. Sutherland doesn't give you a very big target either, Tim. He covers up very, very well. Hands up good and high. Elbows in. Yeah, the body's really where he's being hurt. He's only been tagged once to the head. We'll return after this word from your local station. Round number seven, scheduled for 10 light heavyweights, and this has been a real good fight with Michael Spinks coming on since round number four and asserting himself against Murray Sutherland, ranked number 10, who uh, 
started off extremely well and has been a most pleasant surprise. Well, my good friend Angelo Dundee, he told me that the Sutherland wouldn't disgrace himself and he was right again. Spinks currently ranked number seven by the WBA, number 11 by the WBC. And we said uh, Sutherland number 10 by both boxing councils. Mike is really winging now. He's forgetting all about boxing, all about anything. He's just winging punches. Got that left hook through. Got away with a little foul that time. He's holding Sutherland behind the head with his left hand and punching. No warning as yet from the referee, Tony Perez. You know, Mike, Mike Spinks isn't exactly fresh as a daisy, you know. He's, he's breathing pretty hard. Well, he's thrown a lot of punches the last three rounds. Every bit of leverage was on that left hook to the body that time, Tim. Bill Clancy with Tim Ryan. Here ringside, live on the CBS Sports Spectacular, Michael Spinks and Murray Sutherland. Tim Sutherland can get back in this fight with one good punch. If he lands one good punch on, on Mike, I think he'll be right back in the fight. Because Mike's a little tired right now. One good punch could bring him back in the fight. Spinks landed a low blow that got some uh, cries of anguish from the corner of Murray Sutherland. And neither one of them got hit, and they still cried with anguish. <laughs> you know? Those are the same guys who tell you to go out there and fight. I know I did that for years. <laughs> Good combination. Good combination from Spinks. Sutherland looks like he enjoys this sport. He's just a real good competitor. It's going all right now. Get that left in. One, two, three, Murray. One, two, three. Push him. One, two, three. Told you Mike Spinks was a little tired, Tim. Less than 30 seconds to go in round oh, yeah. seven. Now, Mike, just like Leon, has that great competitive spirit and great heart, though. These kids, they fight their heart out every time they go in the ring. The Both full them. ten rounds, too. You can be sure of that if it takes ten. Coming to the end of round number seven. Next Saturday, 5 o'clock Eastern on the CBS Sports Spectacular, we've assembled some of the biggest bruisers in the National Football League. The Strongest Men in Football, Part 1. Sounds like fun. You'll also see Speed Demon Cyclists, the World Tim, Speedway Championships. Murray Sutherland came running out of his corner. Maybe he's going to go back to that style he had in the first two rounds. And he's, there he starts. Well, we've got him uh, slightly behind now in an otherwise very close well, fight. Maybe his corner feels he's got to do well, some whatever. More work. You know, he was very effective when he was coming in those first two rounds. Spinks doing a better job of backing him up, however, than he did in the early going. Well, in the early going, when Sutherland came in, Spinks wasn't looking to counter. He was covering up. Now he's punching. Good left from Spinks. Sutherland got out of there all right. Now he has abrasion under his left eye, showing a little more redness. I would say that regardless of the outcome of this fight, Murray Sutherland has uh, made a name for himself here today and should be getting some more action among uh, some of the better light heavyweights. Yes, he should. He's got a slight cut under his left eye now, Tim. Not, not dangerous at all, but there's a little blood there. That jab landed from Sutherland. Eighth round action, a very entertaining light heavyweight fight. Michael Spinks and Murray Sutherland. Good, Good combination, combination by Spinks. Oh, Beautiful combination. That's the Olympic Michael Spinks. And he backs Sutherland all the way across the ring with that. We're right above our broadcast position. Right hand lead by Sutherland, but Spinks took it on the arm. Mike just walked right in that time. No faint, no nothing. Very dangerous. Sutherland a little angry with that holding by Michael Spinks. Let him know it. 
push him, push him, push him. Tough young Scott from Edinburgh. Yeah, he's getting a little, a little tired now, though, Tim. A little worse yes, than he was. I told you, he was tired. Got a little tired. Sutherland just went down from uh, cumulative punches there with more fatigue, and he's breathing heavily. He looks, eyes are clear, and he wants to carry on, but he's in obvious trouble now. Less than 30 seconds to go in round eight. It was not one blow that sent him down. Just the accumulation. It might have started with that good combination on the far side of the ring. Spinks on the attack, trying to pressure the tired Murray Sutherland. Those Adam body punches are murdering him, Tim. All right, Dick, and Murray Sutherland bounced to his feet here as he wants to look fresh, at least for round number nine. Been a good fight, Michael Spinks. Sutherland came back a little in the eighth round, but all of a sudden, the accumulated punches he had been taking from Spinks and that good overhand right sent him to the canvas. Now Tony Perez warning Spinks and Sutherland says, get out of my way, rep, let me at him. Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like that reaction? Spinks with a good body shot, but Sutherland covering up well uh, the punches to the head. Spinks is mugging him now, Tim. Just a mug job now. He's walking right in, no fainting, no nothing, and just wing him when he gets close. Put the shoulder in there. Just walking right after him. It is clear Sutherland is not going to go easy here. He has been a very game competitive fighter. Had a strong start through the first three rounds, but Michael has asserted his authority. Good left hook landed from Sutherland. Bright eyed. He's fighting, Tim. He sure is. Throwing punches. Murray Sutherland. Good fight. One, two, three. That's that European style. Spinks going back to the body again as Sutherland covers up well to the head. Spinks has really been punishing him to the body. Yeah, he got hurt again, Tim. Seems to go all of a sudden. He gets hit with a couple of those body punches. Takes so much out of him. That was a borderline shot. South of the border. Oh, good right hand from Spinks. Michael trying to finish him here in the ninth round. Sutherland got him turned around. Less than a minute to go in the ninth. That took landed from Michael. Okay. Those good legs of Sutherland have uh, really helped to keep him in into this fight, not getting him into more serious trouble. He's moved well when he's had to. Moves well, good defensive fighter, well conditioned. Right. Under 30 seconds to go, and round number nine scheduled for 10. Up, oh, big right hand by Mike Spence. Sutherland looked he, over at us and said, he, no, he, said, no, he must have heard me. I thought he, I did think he'd pull back just in time and didn't get the full impact of it. It was a tremendous shot by Spence, but he didn't get it all. Final seconds of the ninth round. Fifth and final round, we have Michael Spence enough ahead here to uh, win this fight, but uh, of course, our scores count for nothing. Murray Sutherland bouncing out there. He's eager, smiling. He's a colorful personality. Yeah, he has personality in the ring, right? I think fight. he has to score a knockout to win this fight, though. I would agree. Murray Sutherland, ranked number 10 in the world. This has been a most entertaining fight. Both these guys giving it their all. We'll be seeing more of Murray Sutherland, I'll tell you that. I like him. From Edinburgh, Scotland just landed a combination. Look at him go to work here. There's that good movement again. Spinks battling right back with a good combination. Michael seems to rise to the flurries with some of his own. Crowd coming to its feet here in some parts of the room, enjoying this action. Mike is fighting like an amateur. He's just winging away. Now Sutherland laughed at him. I tell you, he's really something in there. Looks like he's genuinely enjoying the combat. 
We've got a minute in the tenth and final round. It's Scott from Bay City, Michigan, originally from Edinburgh, making a lot of friends and fans here. And they scrap against unbeaten Michael Spinks. That right hand chop bothers Sutherland every time Spinks unloads it. Michael trying to land that big overhand right. Come close a few times. Now he's got Sutherland spinning around, and there's Sutherland smiling again, saying he didn't hurt. But Spinks is doing the job nonetheless, piling up the points. He's been in command since the fourth round. Plenty of action for light heavyweights. You're not kidding. Murray Sutherland is no Eddie Gazzo, that's for sure. Oh. Don't mention that name again. Though. Credit to Thomas Hearns for his knockout victory yesterday against the junior middleweight. Headed for his showdown against Topino Cuevas for the WBA welterweight title. Don't forget, we've got more boxing action ahead. May 17th. Look at Sutherland, Hager. come on. He's trying. May 25th, Jimmy Young, Jerry Cooney. Important heavyweight fight here on the sports spec. Less than 30 seconds to go in the fight. <laughs> They're tired. They have really been working hard. Michael Spinks trying to finish strongly. Sutherland still showing that good footwork. Footwork and handwork. Still winging. Just about over. There it is. And the crowd comes to its feet here in tribute to these two light heavyweights put on a real good show. Murray Sutherland. American boxing fans know who you are now. Michael Spinks, the Olympic champion. Another fine performance by him. Tim, that was a spontaneous standing ovation. Everybody jumped right up and started to applaud. They really liked this fight here at the Concord. All right, we'll be back for the decision. It's on the headset now. On the headset. She wants to go. All right, we're awaiting the decision here at the Ladies and gentlemen, Concord. Here is the voting of the officials. Judge Harold Letterman, seven round Sphinx, three Sutherland. Judge Eva Shane, nine round Sphinx, one Sutherland. <laughs> Referee Tony Perez, seven round Sphinx, two Sutherland, one even, the winner by unanimous decision, Michael Sphinx. Well, there you have it. Michael Sphinx is the winner, a unanimous decision. And on our card, we had given Sutherland two rounds, so we came out fairly close to the judges. Eva Shane was the least generous, uh, giving, uh, giving Sutherland only the one round. And we're going to ask Michael to step on down here, if he can, and, and join us uh, at ringside. Okay, sit right here. You earned a rest, Michael. Uh, well, this was certainly a most entertaining light heavyweight fight. Uh, I guess you had to be a little surprised at the caliber of Murray Sutherland. No, like I said in the first interview, I said he, I heard he was a tough kid, so I'm looking to go 10. I need it. Well, the first three rounds, he was putting the pressure on you. Gil was remarking that uh, you didn't seem to be keeping him off. You were covering up. Uh, were you thinking that or? Right. That's my, that was my plan to let him go ahead and see what he, you know, just punch on. And as long as I protect myself, I was, uh, um, I was wanting to see what he had, see what he had. And, uh. He had uh, a good overhand right, so I, I just went ahead and uh, measured off of that. See, can I hook off of that? But I couldn't do it as often. But uh, I did pretty good. I think I, I thought he would soon get tired in the later rounds, All right. which he did. And I had to start pointing on. Michael, you did the job, and your brother's looking on in Los Angeles. We're going to yes, go out there Steve. shortly. We thank you and congratulate you and look forward to your next one. Thank you. I love your performance, Lee. Beautiful. All right. There are the brothers okay. talking to each other, and down. we'd like to thank the... Him, but Okay, Michael, we'd like to thank the uh, staff here at the Concord Hotel for all our cooperation and helping us present this fight this afternoon of the Sports Spectacular.